too. We only got beer. Oh, what's up, everybody? You know, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is. We're just happy you're here on Feed Me today. And for today's episode, you know, we got something a little special. We want to have some fun, yet learn how to cook something. So the only person that could fit that description was Cousin Leon. So you know what? Cousin Leon's got something nice prepared, so he's gonna come over and teach us. So let's not wait any longer. Let's get to it on today's episode of Feed Me. Someone to feed me. All right, I think our special chef is here for the day. Let's see who it is. Dun dun dun. Yo. Hello, my name is Leon. Everybody else call me Grams. What's up, guys? What's good, cuz? Good, man. Cousin Leon is in the house to throw it down today. No, we do it. Cousin Leon is a fun-filled type of guy. Lots of life in him. They say he moves like an old man, but I don't really see it. So after a quick call, I got my cousin Leon. Thanks for coming over, Brian. Look at my boy, Ryan. Hey, man. He likes his, uh, he likes his belly a little bit. Probably. It's always love here. Yeah. So, what we're here for, we're going to get into a secret recipe for some pepper fish. Pepper fish. Specifically today, we got some bass. Delay, you know what it is. You see it. So, after a cheers to a great recipe, let's get to it. Yeah. Someone to Cousin Leon, tell me the first step to making some pepper fish. First step is you get the preparation of the fish. Okay. Cut them up in like an inch, right? And how much about are we dealing with here? Right now we're dealing about three pounds. Okay. All right. Good vibes. Good vibes. So we got the seasoning here. Nice. We got the uh, Chinese five spice. Okay. It's about a teaspoon. Okay. We're gonna top that in right now. This is a West Indian thing. Mix up the seasoning. So the next step is all-purpose fish. Max says, this is fish seasoning. That's fish. It's already starting to smell good, man. So now, like, this here is the chili powders. Ooh, right? Ooh, That's where the spices kick in. If you like a lot of spice, this is definitely the recipe for you. Onion powder. A little flavor. But to give it a notch, you can always put a little squeeze of lemon juice. Okay. It kicks it up a bit. It's like put some flavor into the meat. Okay. Good right. tip. Good tip. And now a bit of salt, maybe a teaspoon. Cool. Yeah. I like to get into the thing. Okay. Gotta massage the meat. You know, mm -hmm. Gotta go this way. Massage the meat. Know. Work it up. Work it up. Who doesn't like a good massage? Give it a little Even rub. the food you eat, you gotta take care of. Oh, yeah, you gotta rub it. I mean, you gotta massage it, man. Like you gotta <laughs> get the seasoning worked in there. So it'll take care of you Extra in the end, right? Nice. Hell yeah. That's what's now up. What is that? That's what's up. Take a case for salt. It's, it's on. It's ready. That's what's up. But we'll catch you on the next step. So the next step is we got the battering. And what's oh, in it, that? It's it's, it's, a, it's a fried powder. Fried powder. But not any normal powder. This fried is powder. a fried powder. This is the best. So all we're gonna do now is just, we're gonna take a bit of this, dump it in there, shake it up a bit. It's ready. We're going to the fryer. In order to know if the oil is really hot, you just take a shot glass, fill it up with some water, fingertip. Ooh. It's ready. Good tip. So now it's about time that we should dump this fish in there. Here we go. Now, should I stand back? Should I stand back? I think it should. Okay, I'm gonna stand forward. back. Let Cousin Leon do his thing. Lay and easy. Because we don't want it to pitch, right? That's exactly it. Okay. Let me tell you, that smells amazing. I'm watching this fry up. So now, we need this to fry here for about two or three minutes. The fish is a thing that doesn't need much cooking. It's just, it, it cooks pretty fast. So, you know, it's ready. You don't want to overcook it because then it's going to be dry. So color and texture is key once again. When you get that golden brown texture, that's what you want. So right now what we're gonna do is the same oil that we had fried the fish in. Uh -huh. We're gonna take about three teaspoons or tablespoons of the oil. Okay. Throw it in the pot. 
But you know, all the flavor is in there now. I guess you gotta switch up the oil like you switch up your undies. That's pretty warm. So now what you wanna do, you got the green onions, the lower part of it, you wanna dump that in first. You wanna mash these lower part of the green onions in so all that flavor comes out of it. Mashing up those onions gives some great flavor. Now what you wanna do now is you wanna add the carrot. That fry up for a minute. Now, you wanna dump in the onion. That's a real snap crack on the top there. Now what you wanna do is, you wanna add the chilies. Ooh, chilies! Spice up the veggies too. You can't get away from the heat in this one. Now, you're gonna add the red and green bell peppers. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add in this stuff is like an oil, pepper sauce. Okay. This is what gives the kick. Oh boy. This is concentrated. If you cannot handle the heat, add to what you can handle. So more pepper, lots of spice, but like you said, deal with what you can handle. You know that's something serious, because when it landed in the pot, it really sizzled. Wow. So right now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add the fish in there. Okay. Give it a toss up for about a minute or two. Here comes the fish. As you guys can see, I cannot really bear this. The spice is like it's crazy. This is this really some pepper fish. Ooh. Clearing out the sinuses. All right, so it looks like we're just getting the finishing touches here on this fish. So letting the veggies and the spices seep into the fish in the pot. It's looking good. We got a couple men overboard, but that's all good. That's just part of it. What we're gonna do, I guess now, Cousin Leon, is, is this ready to go? Ready, right, boy. We're just about to plate this thing right now. We plate the fish with uh, some lettuce, like the garnish and stuff. Slice up some carrots, real thin. Makes it look nice. All right. So I think we're finally to my favorite part of this whole process. The part where the product is gonna go in my belly. So we've gone through the pre-prep, the seasoning, the frying of the fish and the frying of the vegetables. I think it's all seeped in there and I think Cousin Leon is ready to serve it up. Let's see what we got going on. How does it look? That looks full of life and spice. That's what I'll say. There you have it. There we go. Cousin Leon, holy smokes. This thing tastes amazing. This bass, you did it justice. And just think it started off as just some boring old fillets. Well, you see the whole process and you see it go in our bellies. So I hope you learned something. I know I did. From Cousin Leon. All the time. Your boy Raj Rayma. Nige. Nope. Rated N. Hey man, we gotta get down and get busy on this fish, so until the next Be time. Hungry, man. Peace! Go hungry. How was your experience on uh, Fiji? Pretty good. Yeah, would you come back? Hell yeah. It seems like he wants to come back, and we want him back. Definitely. Yeah. Gotta make something different. You gotta try the ribs. Ribs. Oh yeah. We got it on film. He said he's making ribs. You know, you guys treat me well and feed me. So I'll catch you guys on the next tip. Peace out.